good to catch up after a couple of weeks. Um, what's been going on? Oh, firstly, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage at the beginning. Um, I took that about three or four weeks ago down at the Viaduct Harbour here in Auckland. Uh, it's just a beautiful day and um, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. Got lots of restaurants down there. There's a huge marina, which I didn't show you too much on the video, but there's a, a drawbridge that I was standing on, which opens up to let the, uh, the boats in and out um, so they can sort of get closer into the to the city there and get a lot of rich people in their flash boats coming from overseas uh, a lot of cruise liners and that sort of thing um, but yeah what's been going on um, I haven't got a beer of mine to show you today but I have hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be showing you my ESB I just want to give that another another week to sort of um, condition I guess you could say and I've just bottled my pothole black IPA with the roasted wheat so probably in maybe two or three weeks I'll um, crack one of those open but today I received well not today but I received a beer from uh, Aiden at 1490 Brewing I'll put a link below um, you guys if you follow me you you would have heard me talking about Aiden so he has sent me an Imperial IPA now I don't know much about the beer other than it's based on the Liberty Knife Party West Coast IPA. I'll put a maybe put a picture on the screen somewhere here or cut to it. Um, yeah, so really looking forward to this. So thank you very much, Aiden. It's very kind. Aiden's been super generous sending beers up and I've been a bit slack in sending some back. So I'll send you um, Definitely send you and Chris one of the black IPAs, one of the potholes. So there's a nice, nice bit of hiss there. So um, Aiden's a kegger, so this would have come off the keg. So I should be able to um, fill this glass right up. Just leave the tiny bit in the bottom. So there we go there. Um, just turn that around. So hopefully that's showing up on the camera. Um, it's a little bit a little bit hazy, but I'm imagining there's a um, truckload of hops in there. Beautiful colour there, Aiden. Um, what you call that? A, I was going to say probably more of a sort of a very dark orange, sort of crossing over into like a copper, holding a beautiful uh, creamy head on the top. So yeah, we're just gonna just gonna go in blind, I think. Um, gee, oh, <laughs> I was gonna go as soon as I said cheers. I got a, I got a whiff of the the hops and malts off the top. Oh, there's a really nice um, hop aroma coming off the top there, Aiden. Yeah, real nice. Um, I'm gonna say um, combination of sort of pine and pine and citrus. Oh, it's really nice grapefruit, like a yeah, grapefruit sort of citrus aroma. Sort of nice piney resin. And then I'm getting some nice sweet, uh, not, not a lot, but a, a little bit of, um, or nice touches of uh, sweet sort of caramel. Oh, that's really good. So I think this is Aiden's sort of... Um, what you call pra not practice beer but like a warm-up beer for a competition that is coming up in the next month we're all going to be brewing um, it's called the Lord of the Dank IPA um, beer competition that um, Carl from Floor Sweepers Union is running um, so yeah the idea is to come up with a real dank sort of piney resinous sort of um, IPA so it's all about the hops um, and I believe this is Aiden's sort of um, yeah warm up warm up act I guess you could say it's a little bit of a teaser or temper as to what we can expect so let's uh, yeah let's dive in All right. another mouthful. Okay, you can definitely tell this is a, 
a big beer. It's got some real nice um, firm sort of bitterness up front. And the, the hop flavours carry on nicely from the aroma. Getting more of that sort of pine, grapefruit, sort of citrus um, quality from the hops. Um, but also getting a real nice juiciness to it. That reminds me a bit of the, um, is it the Tuatara Double Trouble. You're in, you're, is that an Imperial IPA? I think it is. Yeah, that's really got really nice. That bitterness, even though it's quite in your face and quite firm and up front, um, there's no harsh lingering back into it. That is, that is a fantastic beer. If this is your warm up, um, Lord of the Dank um, sort of uh, beer, um, yeah, I think we're, we're all going to have to lift our game. Um, yeah, the malts, the malts are really good. Um, there's definitely a really nice um, solid malt backbone there. Plenty of sort of um, sweet caramel. Um, what would I say? Sort of biscuit. I might have might have some sort of toffee in there as well. A really good body to it. Carbonation is is bang on as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, it's got a real nice back end to it. Eh? That's I think that's one place that you can go wrong with a big. IPA or an Imperial IPA is you can get all that bitterness and everything but you can end up with some unwanted um, lingering aftertaste but this this is real clean on the back end um, yeah that's really nice I don't know I don't know why you didn't enter this for the uh, comp or maybe you might even uh, consider brewing it up again Yeah, I'm getting like um, other hop sort of characteristics coming through. Yeah, sort of like orange marmalade, along with that grapefruit. Yeah, there's definite big hits of pine and oh, it's got a beautiful aroma to it. If you're a real hop head and you really like that sort of sort of dankness to your beard and you could just you could just sniff just sit here and sniff the beer it's um yeah and that real f full sort of uh rounded mouth um enveloping juiciness to the hops thank you very much aiden i'm gonna stop the video here and enjoy the rest of it and um i'll probably talk to you later on once you've seen the video um so cheers guys thanks for tuning in um, I'll try and crank out a couple more videos, like I say. I uh, might even have a car show that I'm going to this weekend, so if you're interested in cars, I'll try and whack up some footage uh, probably Sunday or Monday. So until next time, um, take it easy, enjoy your week, and um, enjoy the coming weekend. Over and out. Cheers.